Here is a Roland SH101, a lovely simple analog keyboard, one of my first keyboards. And what I used to do, um, it was one of the only keyboards you could sort of get uh, a chord out of by turning up the clock and using the inbuilt arpeggiator. So you could play a couple of... And it's kind of a chord and it's a bit odd, but that's how I did like my early four track recordings. And then the same clock controls the internal sequencer and that's where you can get into sort of making some interesting patterns. Like originally you would uh, put in your patterns. You might not bother with any rests or anything complicated. And then this is what you could do. So the, the clock will control the sequencer and cycle through the notes. But now obviously you can trigger this uh, from other methods, you might have previously been able to use an 808 or another drum machine and trigger the clock from an instrument, so you could step through the notes in different ways. But now, obviously, you can use something like the Eurorack stuff, um, build in a sequence, and then use that to trigger in interesting ways. And obviously, there's sort of a kind of classic dance sort of sound um, that comes out of these instruments and the way that the sequences work. So you might find you'd program in. Uh, a little random few note sequence and then with the internal clock it's just cycling through as you'd expect but maybe if we put an external clock in and then uh, we play the sequence I'm now using the um, circadian rhythm it could be anything really just a trigger so at the moment that's triggering a simple pattern um, but you can also mix the triggers with something like the grids the um, musical instruments grids and so I'm, I'm using like a, a simple mixer to mix in some of the grids triggers so which is almost like a ratcheting sort of thing you can hear the odd quick note and uh, together we can sort of make a kind of performance by maybe putting in a, a drum machine so the 808 or something we've programmed and then what the SH-101 does best, the classic bass tones.